So here is question number 36 everyone. A chain consisting of 5 links each of mass 100 gram is lifted vertically with constant acceleration of 4 meter per second square as shown in figure. The force applied by link B on link C will be what? We have to calculate the force between link B and C. So let us draw them separately. This is link B and here it's C, D and E. Now we are having two separate entities. The force between them is, let us consider T. So here will be T the same way. Here also will be force capital T. Now let us think about the downward entity. The total force acting on downward system will be its weight that is 300 upon 1000 kilogram multiplied by gravity G tension T which we have to calculate further and it is lifting vertically with acceleration 4 meter per second square. Apply second law of motion we get total force that is T minus 300 upon 1000 into G is equal to MA that is 300 upon 1000 into acceleration A that is 4. So T will be equal to 3 plus 1.2 that is 4.2 Newton. We will go with option number 1. Moving on to the next that is 37 number. So here is question number 37. Two rotating bodies A and B having angular velocities omega and 2 omega respectively. The kinetic energy of both bodies are same. The moment of inertia of bodies I A and I B respectively will be what? Means we have to calculate their ratio of moment of inertia. Since they have same kinetic energy it means we can write half I A omega square will be equal to half I B 2 omega square. Solving it half half cancel out. I A omega square is equal to I B times 4 omega square. Omega square cancel out. We have got I A barabar 4 times I B. Option number 3 we can go with. Moving on to the next that is 38 number. Question number 38 everyone. Two blocks of masses M1 10 kilogram and M2 20 kilogram are attached to each other through a light spring as shown in figure. A force F is equal to 80 Newton is acting on mass M1. If at that instant acceleration M1 is 4 meter per second square towards right, then find the acceleration of M2 at that instant. Now suppose the compression in the spring due to this force 80 Newton is X. So for the block M1 we can write F along this direction that is 80 Newton compression in the spring so that's why spring will push along left direction with a force Kx and the block is moving with 4 meter per second square acceleration applying second law and writing the equation we will get 80 minus Kx is equal to m1 into A 80 minus kx m1 is 10 acceleration is 4 so therefore we will get the value of kx that is 40 newton now we have got the value of kx now let us think about the forces acting on block m2 only one force acting on m2 and that is kx compression in the spring that's why the spring will try to regain its length for that it will exert a force kx due to which m2 will move with acceleration a dash. Total force acting on m2 will be kx which is equal to m into a dash 20 a dash. kx is 40 20 a dash so therefore a dash is equal to 2 meter per second square. Option number 2 we will go with. Moving on to the next question that is 39 number. So here is 39 number everyone a 50 kg person stands on 25 kg platform he pulls on the rope which is attached to the platform via frictionless pulleys as shown in figure the whole system remains in equilibrium the force applied by the person on the rope will be what take g equals to 10 meter per second square now since the whole system is in equilibrium now consider 
suppose tension in this string is t so here t here t tension in this one will be 2t tension here also t consider man and platform as a system we can say that the total upward force on the system is 3t and total downward force is their combined weight that is 50 plus 25 into g due to which acceleration is zero therefore you can write 3t is equal to 75 g t is equal to 25 g t is equal to 250 newton so this is the force applied by the person on the rope that is simply t so we will go with option number four moving on to the next that is 40 number so here is question number 40 everyone block of mass m is placed on a rough horizontal surface a variable force horizontal f is applied on the block as shown in figure the variation of frictional force acting on the block varies with applied force capital f as now This is friction force axing, axis in Newton. This is applied force in Newton. Now, if applied force is zero, friction will also be zero. So the graph will start from the origin. Now, for some point of force, the friction will be self-adjusting and static friction. The friction will be static, which is self-adjusting in nature. So till static friction the applied force will be equal to amount of static friction. Now after considering the maximum value of friction, objects start moving and at that instant kinetic friction acts. The maximum amount of friction is known as limiting friction. So FL will be here. So this is the correct graph and we can say that option number two is perfectly matching. So we will go with option number two only.